Well, Press, first of all, congratulations. I tell you, I know I want to take you back a couple months. You and I were talking and prep for a, a magazine article there in Great Seal Sports. And, you know, you talked about how blessed you are to be a part of a lot of winning through high school. But what, what really stuck out to me was when you talked to me about as far in terms of SVC, you felt like you left a lot on the table. Take me through what you meant by that and the mindset you guys had coming into the year. Well, uh, we just, like I said, we've gotten second the past two years, so it just made us really hungry for this year and knowing that the little things we couldn't overlook because that could be the one thing we're missing to be number one. And uh, I read something in a book last week that just kind of kind of stuck with me. It said, uh, go for gold and never settle for silver. So I think that was kind of our mindset this week, especially getting the gold ball and stuff. And been our mindset all year. Hey, I couldn't help but think about something else talking about past. I think it was two years ago, your sophomore year, I was talking to you after an incredible instant classic down at Southeastern. It was you on one side, the Ruby and, and, and so forth on the other. And I remember thinking to myself, you know, that uh, we were watching something real special in terms of an athlete and yourself moving forward. And, and obviously that's played out. What, what's the difference in your perspective between that talented young quarterback I watched that night and then the senior standing here tonight as a gold ball winner? Um, you know, I think all of the guys in our grade, we've all grown up a lot and obviously gotten stronger in the weight room, but just the mental aspect of the game, just trying to dominate every every facet of it, not just the game, but the weight room, practice, everything, you know, uh, not losing any hunger, uh, just just always trying to stay, stay uh, hungry and just get better and not uh, stay the same every year. You know, in all the years in, in coaching, over 20 years in this league in different sports and in the website now for about 13, I've, I've seen a lot of good football teams and I've seen good offenses, I've seen good defense. What really stands out is your guys' identity is you're so complete. You know, I know you take such a, 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 a passion and in, in, in a lot of pride in your role of being a part of all those phases, not just a great uh, quarterback, but a great football player. Talk to me about how you think that spreads throughout the whole team and how you guys take a lot of pride in every aspect of the game. Yeah, well, like, uh, as our identity is, is just hitting guys in the mouth, and I think that starts with our offensive line. You know, that, that's like the biggest group on the team, five of them, and then you got our tight end and stuff, but they just come out and beat guys up every day. And I think when a lot of the guys see that, they're just like, man, if they do that, then why can't we? And, uh, you know, it's, it's just a great, great overall atmosphere on the whole team. And just, just couldn't ask for any better teammates to have. And, you know, it's just real special playing with them for four years. Well, I know there's a lot of celebration to go do. And I, so I'll just ask you one more thing. You know, with a week off now, such a weird schedule in terms of high school football this year. Obviously, you want to take a minute to enjoy this. and. And then you, you have a week off, and then you get right back at it with so much on the table. What, what's the message as, as the leader, you and the senior class, in terms of moving forward here? Uh, well, you know, we didn't get 10 games, so might as well get our way to 10 by just winning. So, uh, you know, we've talked about uh, just trying to be the most decorated class in uh, Adina history by winning playoff games and we know we're very capable of that especially you know uh, later in the playoffs what really matters is the guys up front and you know I think our guys up front can just hang with anyone in the state. Well I tell you what I, I love how hard you compete I know what this means to you and your teammates but in particular your senior class uh, I'm, I'm happy for you congratulations and best of luck moving forward.